Hi guys, it's Deezer HD here with um, another Photoshop tutorial today and I'm going to be showing you how to do the effect which is on screen right now. Um, you can see the black eye effect that I've put on there, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is go to Google and find a picture of an eye or take a photo of your eye. Um, I can't actually give you this one because it's for my photography project so I can't give you a picture of my eye. Um, the original photo I used was, let me find this for you, I believe it was this one here. So this is what, that's what I started off with and uh, I've built it into this uh, darker, much more horrible scene. <laughs> Looks like, kind of like a demon eye. So once you've got your eye, um, you can, you also need this blood splat but we'll get that later on or you can use a brush in Photoshop. So. Let's head over to Photoshop, and I'm not liking for the other picture. Just this is the standard image. I was, I didn't mind the hair and the highlights, but I am going to crop this down first, just quickly, um, just to remove a bit of the hair. I'm going to paint this bit black. So I'm going to do Command Shift N. I'm just going to call this vignette or something. I don't know because it is kind of like a vignette. I'm going to hit B on my keyboard for my brush, which isn't coming up because it's in the width bit here. But if I just there we go, I've got my brush. I'm going to make sure it's feathered and make sure it's black and we can just like paint over this bit just just so it doesn't keep that uh, horrible distraction that we don't need. So I'm just going to go over this bit here. So we've just got the side of my face there now and uh, I'm just going to leave it like this. It's only rough because it's a tutorial but um, yeah so that's my vignette. You can see it's just darkened up the edges just a tad and uh, now what we're going to do is do Command Alt Shift and E or yeah, I think it's Control Alt Shift Knee on a Windows computer. And that'll merge both these layers into one, and we're going to call this. Uh, actually, we don't actually need to do that. We can just delete this. Sorry about that. That was later on, I believe. So what we're going to use for the eye is the pen tool, and you may, might want this to be quite accurate. Um, so you just want to zoom in on the eye, and I'm going to start right in this bottom corner down here, or like here actually, I think, because this bit maybe I'll just start here. And you want to click quite carefully. I'm not very good with the pen tool at, um, at the moment, so like bear with me if I'm trying to do curves and stuff. Um, but yeah, but just want to go around the eye, make sure it's quite neat. So if you can hold Alt to remove these, see these little handles. You can move those around. You can uh, move the point as well. So there we go. Um, let's just keep going around. See, as you can see, here, it's a bit too much of a curve. So if I hold Alt, I can just move that up make sure it's a nice curve and this will be quite nice and you can see here you want my eyelashes in the way you can just go straight around the eyelashes uh, it doesn't really matter to be honest with the eyelashes in the way and like you can see here it's going to go really wrong <laughs> but you can move this handle again and just get that into the right position it doesn't have to be exact because uh, we will be blurring it out because we don't want it to be too exact um, you don't want it to be too harsh around the edges either so once you've done that, we're going to do Command minus and just zoom back out. And we're going to make a new layer, Command Shift N, and we're just going to call this uh, Black Eye or something like this. And we can uh, then right mouse click and go Fill Path. And you want the color, and you want to make sure that's black, and click OK. Then we can right mouse click and delete that path as we don't really need that anymore. And as you can see, we haven't got any of the reflections that we have on the eye in this, so it doesn't look terribly good. So what I'm going to do is set this to overlay. You can see we've brought back some of those reflections and then we can see these edges are very harsh. So we're going to go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur. And you can see that's a much better effect now. Blends in much better. Uh, maybe just bring that down. Yeah, that looks good. About 15 pixels looks good for me. And uh, you can lower this down the opacity if it's just a bit too strong. But uh, I quite like it quite strong. Maybe just and, tad. and there we go, there's the black eye effect so far. Um, obviously we're going to need to get a blood splat, so you can either go over to Google and you can just type in blood splat. Uh, and you can use something like this, would probably be fine. Let's just, uh, you can go copy image and just paste it into Photoshop. Oops, not Lightroom. You just close Lightroom down before everything starts freezing. Let's go back into Photoshop and we can just paste that in and it'll come up with this for me because I used a different uh, RGB working space so 
There we go. And I'm just going to remove using the magic wand tool the white and just hit delete because I don't want that in. And you can see I don't really want all of these blood splats, so I'm going to rub out a couple of them. I think I just I'll just go for the big one in this tutorial. Um, my opacity is set down low. Let's just rub this out. Okay, and you don't want these little. Uh, you can see these little splashes here. Um, you don't actually want them, so we can just take our feather right down. We don't we don't want it to be feathered. We just want it to cut the edges off, um, so we can get really close up to this splat like that. Much easier than having a feathered one. There's a couple up here. There we go. Just uh, I'm just going to use this one splat for now, and you can use many more. And you can hit Command T and uh, just bump up the scale if you want. Okay, and you can go to Image Adjustments and Curves, and we can start changing some of these uh, curves, make it much darker, like a black because we're going to rub out this top bit anyway we just want to make those highlights a bit darker as well just take these up okay so you want it to have a bit of red in there but then we can get our pen tool and just go around the eye like this make sure you're on the layer one which was our pasted photo make selection the radius uh, the feather the feather radius sorry we'll put that to one and hit delete so it's got a nice radius there and then we can hit uh, we can actually duplicate this and then go filter, blur and Gaussian blur at the top. You can see it just gives a bit of a shadow there. And we can group those and call this um, blood splat or something like this. Or drip, whatever you want to call it. And you just want to put this into an area where it blends quite well. You can see it, it's not very well blended at the moment. You can see we've got this uh, horrible effect where we can see all the edges. But what I'm going to do actually, because I'm not really liking this, I can, I'm can i going to merge this group, merge group, and I'm just going to cut this bit off, I don't really like this bit here, and okay, make selection, delete that, whoops, one pixel, enter, delete, there we go, get there eventually, you can see we've still got that effect now, and we can also change this to overlay if you wanted, but it does make it more of a see-through, which is uh, probably not the effect you're going after can always move it into this darker bit which looks quite cool as well and uh, feel free to like transform it and move it uh, warp it, whatever you want to do to it you could just have it like that but you can also change the opacity down on this as well or go into our curves adjustments again and add like uh, a bit more of a red so we go into our channel and put a red, we can just bump up a bit of a red give a bit of more of a blood look to it yeah, and then you can see, um, I'm not sure if we've still got it up, yeah we have, uh, you can see we've got a darker eye around here and I've also desaturated it, um, you can see it's quite an orange tone. So I'm just going to click this button down here, and I'm going to click uh, Hue Saturation. I'm just going to lower my saturation down just to give it a bit more of a white, um, take some of that colour out to make it a darker scene. Maybe just darken it a bit, and you can change the colours but it does look a bit odd, so I'm just going to leave that at zero. And um, after this, then we're going to do Command Alt Shift and E or com Control Alt Shift E, and we're just going to call this Burn. And uh, we're not actually going to burn, well, actually, we are going to burn some places. So, uh, to make our brush bigger by using the square bracket tool. And you can see we can just paint around the eyes, give it that really dark look that we were looking for. And you can always uh, do this as dark as you like. You could do this over the whole face if you wanted. And then if you don't like that, just take the opacity down. There we go, and I think that looks pretty good. You can also add a bit of a burn around here, just add a bit of a. It gives it more of a center point for you to look at. So that's how to do this devil eye effect in Photoshop, and if you need any more help, just feel free to send me a message. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Cheers.